All right, in this video, we're going to go from this to this. We're going to finish up the mouth, nose, and color the background with a gradient. So to do so, we're going to start right here. And the first thing I want to do is, is get a nose in there. You've used the ellipse tool before. And again, you're just going to make a small ellipse and then use the direct select. And again, you can use A instead of selecting it up there. Click off it, click on the top anchor point, and bring it down to either midpoint or whatever you'd like. I think that looks pretty good. Whoa, undo, control Z. Uh, go back to the track select, so B, move it up into place, um, should be pretty close right there. Now, I, I noticed that when I was moving this, though, it's not, I don't think everything's centered up quite correctly, so that's something we should talk about right now as well. Uh, click on the object, you can see the center points here, and these things aren't, so if I click on these eyes, they're still grouped together. I'm going to move them over with my keyboard, just a few spots, and then bring these eyes in just a little bit. So now if I click on it, pretty darn close. And then I can also see if this is aligned with it as well. And it is. So that works out pretty well for me. So that's a pretty good spot right there. Move it down. You can adjust it however you want. Um, and then I'm going to take this and I'm going to do another gradient. All right. And my gradient I'm going to use this time. I'm going to do linear. And uh, I'm going to turn off my stroke. And again, you can make yours look however you want. Um, then I'm going to use my swatches to bring in a couple other colors. So I'm going to have gray in there and maybe a darker gray. Okay. And I need to go 90 degrees. So there we go, that looks pretty good. Um, maybe a little darker. Um, center point should be in the center. Uh, I like that right there, let's use that. Um, and then I will need a taller ellipse for the center here. A little too tall, again I'm going to direct select. I'm going to bring this down, oops. Actually if I use my selection tool, I can just use the bounding box, drag this down to be like that. I want that overall shape basically. Center that up with my nose down here. Okay. And then use my direct select to bring up this. I want to kind of like be like that. Okay. So I'm going to bring my nose to the front. All right. And then this, I want it to really like fade into nothing. So I need to make sure that, uh, I need a very light, or I need white basically, take this one out. And I can grab my center point to be a lot lower. Okay. And then I will bring my eyes to the front, so I can select my eyes in the front. I gotta use my regular selection tool though. I'll grab the eyes, and the other eyes, and arrange, bring to front. So it looks something like that. Um, not really liking how it's looking right now, I can kind of scoot this stuff in. Go ahead and change it the way you want, whatever looks good to you. I'm going to look back at my other one. Yeah, it looks like I made it much lighter, so let's do that instead, too. Um, the other gray was pretty dark. I'll bring in a lighter gray. Try that instead. That looks all right, too, I guess. Um, I guess I'm most concerned with getting this to line up on the edge of the nose here. Something like that. I guess that looks pretty good. It looks like it went a little narrower last time. So I could grab both of these by holding down Shift. Oops. Ah. Sometimes it's better just to highlight like this. And I can deselect by holding down shift. And maybe I'll just make them both a little narrower. Again, though, you can go with whatever you want. There. That looks a little better. And my white, I want to bring down actually some. So only affecting the uh, top portion. And actually, it's not quite right, white, so I can bring that in even farther. There. That looks better. Okay, and then we need to work on the mouth. So for that, I'm going to use the ellipse tool again, and I'm going to, I'm going to make it more oval-ish, and uh, I'm just going to make it just a gray so you can see the difference. All right, I'm going to take gray. I'm going to copy and paste that, so I have another one, and I'm going to go with this type of shape. So I got two of them here, and actually, uh, what I can do is I can highlight both of them, and then I can go to my Pathfinder tool which is here. Now if it's not here, again, you can go to Window and look for it down there. There's Pathfinder. And what I can do is I can cut basically a circle from a circle or an ellipse from an ellipse. So if I do Intersect, that takes what was intersecting, or I can do Minus Front, and that's the opposite of what I want. So if I take the front and send it to the back, and then do the same thing, see it kind of cuts it out. So that will be my mouth, all right? And I think I want to rotate it a little bit. 
All right, this is gonna look a little different than the other one, but that's fine. And that looks okay, I guess. Now, see, it's kind of thick looking. I'm not sure if I want that thick, so I can just double click on it and double click on it again. Oh, it doesn't show that anymore. It doesn't show the circle. I thought it'd be there still. Huh, I guess it's not, unless maybe if I go into that path. No, uh, maybe not. No, it's different than my last Illustrator version. All right, that's fine. And I'll bring that in. Use my arrow keys to kind of set it where I want. I could rotate it even a little more, probably. You can set it up however you want. Okay, and if that's the way I want, let's say, um, I'm just going to copy and paste that. And then do my object, transform, reflect. And again, it's a vertical reflect. Hit OK. And then I can set that up with the other one. And again, I'm going to use my arrow keys to kind of fine tune it. That looks pretty good just like that. So, my other one, a little bit thinner. If you want to make thinner ones, that's fine. Um, but it's up to you. Okay. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, one trick to make it thinner. No, nah, I don't want to show that now. Never mind. Okay, so let's say that's the way you want it. Uh, again, however you want is fine. And I make another ellipse, perfect circle. I'm going to hold down shift about that size. And for this one, I'm going to, for my gradient, I want to choose pink. I'm going to have like little, uh, I don't know what you call it, blushing, I guess. And uh, for that, I want to do radial. It needs to be opposite of that, so I'm going to put the pink in the center, white on the outside, okay. And then I can grab this and kind of put it where that would be, okay. And these little, the mouth needs to be in front of it though, so I can do a range, so bring to front, all right. And that's a little much, isn't it? Right. So I can grab that object and really, if you look at it, oops, sorry about that. If you look at it, you can actually see like this white edge around it. If you click off it, you'll probably see it on yours. So instead, I'm going to go to um, uh, transparency. And if yours isn't there, again, it's under window. And I'm going to change this to multiply. Okay. And it looks about the same. Now, one way I can turn this down is just turning down the opacity of it. I can go like 50%, and that works pretty good. So, and there's no white edge anymore to it. So I'm going to take that, I'm going to copy and paste it. And you can see how Multiply works, like it's see-through, but it also makes color a little more intense if it's on top of another. And there, there we go. That looks pretty good. So um, now we just need to worry about the background. If I zoom out, Control's minus, I can see that I have, this isn't really a square either. So I'm going to grab my rectangle tool, go up to the corner, it should kind of snap to the intersection. And I'm going to hold down shift and make a perfect square. There we go. And obviously we don't want this. We want that to go to the back. So range, send to back. And we can go like that. Um, I don't really like that the way it looks. Um, I'm going to switch these around. Um, you can go ahead and choose whatever color you want. I, I was liking orange the way the other one was. So I can drop in orange. And the other thing we want to consider is you can see it's lighter in the center. You can move this thing around some if you want. You just got to make sure you're still have that object selected. You can move the gradient slider uh, any way you want. Um, I don't like how it's all of a sudden a circle like that though, so you want to keep it away a little bit. Um, but I think that looks pretty good. And then the other thing to get rid of this white, I click on the uh, rectangle and go to Object, Artboards, and do Fit to Artwork Bounds. And there you go. So now it's just that object. It looks, it looks pretty similar to this one. Um, mouth's a little bit different. So if you like the look of this one, just look at it and mess with your gradients, mess with the shapes as much as you want. Um, this one's fine too. It's got a little bit wider mouth, but uh, you know, to each their own. And um, I guess my challenge to you would be to go ahead and make whatever little face or art you want to do by just using some simple shapes and some gradients. Good luck.